Hey everybody, what's up? Sinisha Portier. It's been a minute, not too long since I've uh, did a video, but I'm here now and I wanted to share with you just for those who have been experiencing a lot of different things in the world, a lot of different shifts. You're hearing on the news, you're seeing with your family, friends, all people all around. Don't mind me, I just got on working out one so uh, a little bit ago, but I said I gotta jump, I gotta, I gotta get on here and let you all know that there are different things that are happening all over the world. You might see some things that you think is if what you're supposed to do or who you're supposed to be connected with or where the direction you're supposed to be in. But you have to make sure that you align it with the most high God that is giving you the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the clarity that you need. And so if it causes confusion, if you have to, if, it, if you're going back and forth and it's causing confusion in your mind, God is not a God of confusion. God gives power, love, and a sound mind. So if you're ever going back and forth and you're not for sure, just seek first the kingdom of God. Pray, meditate, and just know that all these shifts in the world, all these different things that are happening in the world is to pull you back from where you're supposed to go. But instead of pulling you back, God is pulling you back to propel you to the next level. You can't do the same thing that you did last time to get through it. You're going to have to do, I mean, your, your prayers are going to have to go up, your meditation, your fasting, like whatever it is that you've done, it's got to go 10 times higher because this is not letting up. This is not about to change. You can't, we can't acquiesce right now, right? There's no way we can do it. So what I'm telling you is that we have to elevate our minds. We have to seek first the kingdom of God. We have to listen to our divine inner voice, God speaking to us. We have to get into the word. We have to listen to our intuition to know that God is with us. He's speaking to us in, through, and around us. And that nothing can shake that. Nothing can change. Even though all of these things are coming at us, listen, God will put up a fortress he will put up a shield, a protection, so that we can know exactly, crystal clear, crystal clear what it is that we're supposed to do. And a lot of times it starts with our natural gifts and talents, what we did, our abilities, what it is that we have done since we were younger, the things that we love to do. We need to get back into those easy things that brings us ease, that, get, that brings us peace, joy that we can do while we're asleep. When we get back into alignment, we can know more of what it is that God is calling us to, but we wanna get into all these other distractions. And these distractions are gonna pull us left and right instead of going straight forward, instead of having that fixed flint focus. And so that's what God is calling us to do. So I'm gonna tell you, is negativity come, as people come, it's gonna come in all different, it's gonna, I mean, you thought you were cool with these people, you thought you were supposed to be on this path, you thought you had it all set up and then things change and then it's just like, wait, what just happened? I thought that we were, I thought this was going to be, and listen, it's all a part of the plan because you got saved from something, you got protected for something. Don't think that everything that doesn't work out is not working in your favor. All of that counts, all of that counts for your next level, all that counts for the goodness that God is getting ready to do for him for her that is called according to what his purpose okay so we got to keep moving and this has been in my spirit I listened to um, I don't know her to Candace it was like um, a fresh word right but all I know is one of her things is that she said that you know you'll be surrounded by enemies all around. People are gonna come, but you'll be still standing. Like that house that, that was still standing in that volcano. You know, the only house, it was called the Miracle House. When I heard that sermon, I was like, whoa. And you'll be surrounded by so many people. You'll be like, God, am I gonna really make it? Is this gonna happen? Is it gonna work out? You said it was supposed to be like this, but now it's going like that. I just need your word. I need you to give me some, some guidance. Just get quiet, just get still. Connect with people again that are going to help you. And if you don't have those people getting connected with the Holy Spirit, pray, worship, fast, bring it up 10 more times because I'm telling you, it's not gonna stop. But that verse that she said, that that message that she said, surrounded but not overcome, I just had to come into a song. And the, the song that I made up from what her verse was, from not her verse, but from her message, I just kept saying, and I'm not a singer, but I'm telling you right now, this is what you might want to say, surrounded but not overcome. But if you got a voice and you can sing, then go ahead and just sing this all day long. Surrounded but not overcome, surrounded, but not overcome, surrounded, 
but not overcome. Wherever you are, surrounded. Yeah, enemies everywhere, but not overcome. People you thought was cool, surrounded. Turning their backs on you, but not overcome. Everything seems like it's shifting out, surrounded. But you trust God because not overcome. Surrounded, but not overcome. Surrounded, but not overcome. Let that rest with you. Sing that verse. Say that verse. If you can sing, sing it. Look, I, I can't sing, but I, I can hold a tune. And I'm telling you, whatever you're surrounded by, it will not overcome you. You will come. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He's giving you signs. Send your angels out to do your bidding. Don't let them just sit there. Put your angels to work. They will go before you. They'll be next to you, on the side of you. Wherever you're going, you're coming in and going out. Keep you from the things you can't can't see you don't know God is with you God is here he will change and make everything go into your favor even if it looks grim even if you don't know a way out you have to trust and believe you have to transmute all of those things that are the negative into positive and you have to think on those things that are not as though they were because you win and you lose in your mind you have to keep a positive mindset you have to keep going even when it doesn't look like nothing can happen because that is when the miracles are getting ready to happen. That is when the doors are getting ready to open. That is when God is moving. All right, I love you. Tanisha Portier, wherever you are in the world, I'm a global innovator for the 21st century. I know, feel, see, say, touch, taste, believe that I'm here to create. I'm here to cultivate my natural gifts and talents by first starting off by helping myself, my family, and the world. So wherever you are, I am blowing kisses to the globe. Have a beautiful day. And as always, smile.